right, Boomer Geo coming to you live from the Mill Ford Tough Studio on the Fan End CBS Sports Network. Last couple days, Jerry Recco brought to our attention a caller who has called up Steve Summers over the last few nights talking about Tom Brady. And this man is very emotional about Tom Brady, believes that Tom Brady is more than just a quarterback and a man, that his life means more to us. And if you think about the word love and how many letters are there and how you just have to add one letter to love to get the same amount of letters as Brady, and it actually overcame him with emotion so much so that he ended up crying and having to hang up talking to Steve Summers. So if you missed it, uh, this was the call from Rich calling from the Bay Area to uh, Steve Summers just the other night. And look at him. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I'm just emotional now. I got to go. So, <laughs> yeah, that's Steve with a little chuckle at the end. But this is a big deal to Rich in the Bay Area. And we wanted to talk to Rich because, I don't know, we felt like Rich didn't really get his point across. Steve wasn't taking him seriously. So we wanted to talk to Rich to see where his mind was at and let him speak about Tom Brady without being mocked, really, is what we wanted to do, Boomer. So Rich has called us. We have been able to get in touch with Rich. He is here. He is on the line. And he is on the fan. Rich, good morning. How are you? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? We're, are we're, you okay, are you, Rich? Are you okay? Everything all right with you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm fine. I just, uh, I just get emotional sometimes. I, I exceed my emotions, and I, uh, you know, I, I'm still sort of. I, I, sometimes you know, you, 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 you become very emotional, and you become speechless. And yeah, I, no, I understand, Rich. I've been there I, before. Uh, I, I have been there before. Uh, yes. So uh, what was well, it about Tom Brady, though, in that moment on that call to Steve Summers that that emotion overtook you and you could not speak any longer? Or are you are you are you mocking me now? No, no, no. I want to know. I am dead serious, Rich, as what is it about Tom Brady? I just want to hear it from you because we didn't hear the full call. We didn't get the whole thing. I want to know about this Tom Brady love that you have uh, that brings you to that place. I want to learn more about it. There are people in the world that don't see what this man is. He's more than a mere football player. Mm -hmm. He's a beacon of light in an otherwise empty storage bin. Mm -hmm. in, the, in an era of tension and despair, he's, as I said to various people, um, he's hope and desire. And uh, I still believe it. I will never not. I will cease the day, uh, cease the day when, when there, you know, hmm. he is bigger than all of us. And I've just tried to, to enunciate that entire aspect of his life. And I'm not, I'm really not even into football. I watch the game like everybody else. And, uh, I do get emotional because I see a man that doesn't get the, the credit that he deserves, and I've compared him. You really believe that. that Tom Brady doesn't get the credit he deserves? Everybody calls him the greatest of all time. I mean, well, his, his numbers have backed it up. He's got more Super Bowl championships than any other team and franchise in the history of football. I mean, you're, I, you're, you're, you're looking at it as a football man. Oh, I'm okay. Looking at it, I'm looking at it in terms of, I've said that this man, his positiveness, yeah. his, his, his vigor, his life. His yeah. Yeah. Rich, no, I got, I got you. So is, do, do you think not, that, do you think that Tom Brady is, so you don't believe he's a human like me and you, Rich, that there's something else going on there with oh, Tom Brady, oh. maybe something divine. It's beyond that. It is. Beyond that. I, it's I even beyond that. Oh. I, I still believe that if he was, he's bigger than life. Yes. I believe, I believe that Tom Brady and, you know, I'm, I actually put my jersey on, and I do that. People laugh at me, and they think I'm well, some sort of an idiot. Well, why do they like, laugh at you for putting a jersey on? I wear jerseys. We all wear jerseys. Why are they laughing at yeah, you? But, yeah, but 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 it's bigger than football. It's yeah. bigger. 
he could go. Um, you know, I'm serious. I'm not making this up. Yeah, um, I think he can go to the Middle East and do something in the world. That's why I said he's. So you think he could he could football. broker peace talks between people because he's got that type of power? You believe he's is he capable? Do you think of performing miracles, um, things like that? Bigger than Mother Teresa was. I think that really? he has the ability and he has the potential Bigger than to do Teresa. things. Yes, yes. And especially nowadays when we're in this world in which we live in with all the problems that we have. And, and don't, you know, I see a little sarcasm in your voice. Well, no, I want to know where you're coming from here, Rich. So I want, I would like you to rank. You're, 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 I would you're, like you're, to, hold on, Rich. I'd like you to rank some people for me just so I understand where you're at. All right, I'm going to throw you a bunch of names, you rank them in order of importance in the world, all right? All right, Mother Teresa, yeah. Gandhi, yeah. Tom Brady, yeah. Jesus Christ, and yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Can you rank those guys? Bigger than all of them, and I mean that. Don't, don't, don't you understand? Bigger than Jesus oh, Christ. I think I'm some sort of a, uh, he's Mr. G, oh, yes, New York. Wow. Um, uh, it's seven. Uh, for the record, it's two twelve. Was it two twelve? Yeah. February twelfth, two thousand twenty-one. And what do you what do you get when you look at those numbers? Two twelve, uh, two one. And I, I I'm not even. I didn't even look about it until this morning. Right yeah, now. Right. Yeah. One two one, two, two one two one. So you have one two is the yeah. number of Tom Brady. And if you turn yeah. it around, it's a palindrome. It's two yeah, one. Two one. Yeah. Okay. So if 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 you were dealing with people, uh, I look, he's bigger than all those people. And you folks in New York, yeah, you put him on a football tandem, and you merely look at his football. He is, and 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 yes, if you want to talk about the Pope, if you want to talk about rabbis and priests. Mm. And people in the Middle East, in, in Africa, where they're dealing with life and death and, and have dealt with... And Bra Brady, struggles. you believe, is missing yeah. his calling. He could be fixing these I problems. I think he could be an incredible asset for the world that we live in. And you all, you folks in New York, you're looking at it from a gridiron stance. So, I mean, I really, you're putting some blame here at Brady. I mean, he's got all this power. He could be fixing all these things, and all he cares about is winning a... Super Bowl championship. I mean, he's got no, to take some accountability no, no. here. No, no. So listen to me. Listen to me. I'm listening. I I think the man has so much more potential. And I've, I've said this to people that uh, he's bigger than life. He really is. And that he could do things that are far more bigger than just a, a rather – large football game. Yeah, I think Brady needs to realize this himself. Have you tried to like mail him a letter or anything and say, listen, I think that you could cure some of the world's biggest problems just by being no, you? Have no, you reached out I, to him? I have I, I have tried to reach out in terms of just not just these phone calls, but talking to people and trying to get the you people are big there. You're very big. Mm. And I don't have to tell you this. Yeah. So I have reached out. I'm in the well, Bay Rich, area. what would you like us to do to help this Thing along for you. I mean, is I mean, should we should should we start a church, Rich, or uh, some sort of uh, uh -oh. group, or uh oh, no? What are you talking about, the church? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, like for like the people supporters of Brady to try to you know like uh, Bradyology or so, or something uh, to make people know. I, I don't know. Look, I would like to come to New York. And talk to you folks and get this movement started. Because sure, we'll really set that believe, right up. Yeah, I really and I I know you will. You should. But look, I he's he's like a as I said a beacon of hope mm. and love and life. Just think of all the ills that affect us these days. Uh, a humanity. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, we no, we understand. Well, if you, if yeah. you cannot find the love you want, yeah. Then love the one you're with and make it. So, what about your loved ones, uh, Rich? Do they support your Tom Brady can cure everything in the world uh, theories or what? I seem to be on my own little beacon, uh, and I don't know why. Because I, I there's too much um, tension. There's too much, especially especially you folks in New York City. And I, I don't get it. I mean, I do get it. I do get it. I understand about frustration and all the, the things and 
you know, all the all the various uh, past history. But Tom is bigger than all of that. Okay. Now, do you mind if I ask? Are you a married guy, Rich? Divorced? Anything? No, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm single as of now. But single, I, okay. I do I do. I've told this to my various women, and they um, various they women. Don't believe me. Oh, all right. Yeah, so they, when, they, when, so let's say when you're dating a a woman, eventually Tom Brady comes up because you love him so much, and they they don't see it the way you see it, and that sort of breaks the relationship down. Look, if you're, I'm a heterosexual, and I'm willing to prove it. But that's beyond what well, I'm. That's, I'm not talking about you're, that. You're, I am not implying that at all. I'm asking you. I am not implying that at all, Rich. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not. Trust me. I'm asking you. If I was going to say it, does your wife support you? Do your children support no, you in no, this? No, no, no. My, my, no, they don't. They don't understand it. They don't understand and it. You're mocking my various physical prowess. Yep. No, I'm not. I, I don't know anything about yeah, you physically. I, I have no I, idea, I, Rich. I have I, anything physically I, well, with you. Well, sure you do. You're you're making you're making laugh and and, and make look. My, one of my favorite people was was Milton Berle. Yeah. So, and and that's all you have to know about my prowess, if you know what I mean. There's some people out there that get that, and that has that that is not even close to Mr. Tom Brady. And I'm not even talking about that other part, too. But I just want you folks to know. That Brady, Brady is huge. He's huge, and you know the, he. I just because of Tom Brady. My favorite vegetable now is avocado. Wow! Avocado. Wow! All right, yeah. all right, Rich. Yeah, okay, I like avocado. Any, too. anything I mean, for before I uh, let him go there, Boomer? Anything for Rich? Or uh, no, I'm just trying to take it all in, and um, I can understand how he's a true believer. I there's no question in my mind that Rich and Rich, you should know this. No yeah. player has ever sold more jerseys after a championship game in any sport in the history of tracking this than Tom Brady did after Super Bowl 55. So there are a lot of people out there, I think, that are on your side. I'm wearing a jersey right now. I don't know, but all the jerseys with number 12 on it. And it's both a joy and an inspiration. Mm -hmm. And 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 Boomer, I I I know you were not a number twelve. I believe you were number seven. I that's right. You since the days when I was collecting mayonnaise jars, and, collecting and, mayonnaise, and mayonnaise jars. You, it, nice. It's it, 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 the fact of your days at the in Miami when you played the Forty ers in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I I imagine you now wearing number twelve. No, My really. Day, Quarterback. Why were you collecting mayonnaise jars? Yeah, yeah. Rich? Why were you Was collecting mayonnaise jars? And does this have anything to do with Milton Berle, if you know what I mean? That's a long and short story, or a short and long story. I don't know, but I'm just. It's letting, probably you know, a short, a short too moment. long story. No, well, wait a minute. Now, I'm Jewish, but anyway. Uh, okay. I, I must tell you that, and I think Tom Brady could do a lot of good for the world. I mentioned the fact that he could be in the Middle East. He could go to Africa. Yeah, no, no, we, we got all that, Rich. Okay. All right, uh, Al, do you have anything for Rich before we let him go? I, this is a conversation I want to bring everybody into. Eddie, as well, think of a question. Al, what do you think? I think once he started yelling the weird avocado stuff that he that he's doing a bit. You now think he's no, doing no, a bit? Doing I a do. Bit and collecting all. mayonnaise I'm jars, stop. I'm trying too hard. A... You pushed it too far. Uh, no, no, I didn't push anything too far. No, everybody's mocking me. I'm not mocking everybody else. Eddie, are we have I a bit. About... Do we have a bit here on our hands, or do you believe that Rich yeah. is severely mentally ill? It's one of the two. No, well, the avocado oh. thing, like Al said, that could go. It's one or the other. Um, but I would say to uh, Rich from the Bay Area, you know, you can start a religion. Many people have. You, it's within your power to start this Brady religion. I, if my phone call. Does it motivate people, even people in New York? Look, am I talking to you folks are the number one radio show in New York City? Is that correct? That is correct, yes. I've been told. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, if, if you haven't, and I know a lot of people listen to you folks. I know it's beyond sports, you know, and, and that's why I would hope that you put your pens and laptops and your paper aside and think about the good that you could do 
that you've already done, that you've demonstrated an ability to attract more than just sports people. Yeah, we got you. All right, Rich. That's well, listen, we, we appreciate gonna, you. We got we got to go now, Rich, all right? We, I just want to have a nice goodbye so you don't say that I hung up on you. Um, thank you for your time this morning, okay? okay. Nice. Rich in the Bay Area. So we've got one of two things going on. Yeah. And you know me. I've talked about this before. You know, mental illness is something that's no joke. And Rich might be in that area where he needs some help. And that could be what's going on here. I was just wondering back in the day when people were were talking about Jesus, were they mentally ill? Yeah, I. Eh, interesting point. That's, that's another conversation for another day. Um, but it's either that he is someone who's doing a bit, believes that this is funny, is stringing us along, along with Steve Summers with the crying and everything else, or he's someone that has some severe mental illness. Now, when he called up, there were three routes that could have been. I've eliminated one of them. You know, the one route was that he's generally a normal guy, but he's just such a big Brady fan that he was overcome with emotion. That's not the case. That's off the table. That's off the table now. So now having spoken to him for a long period of time, I've narrowed it down to two things, and it's either a man who, who should seek help, and I hope that he does, or it's someone doing a very elaborate bit. And honestly, usually I'm good at sniffing these things out. I'm not sure where I land on it. I'm not sure where I land. Well, you know, it is 2-12-21. Yeah, one two one two two mm-hmm. one. Yeah, but what about the 0-2 in the beginning of that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but you oh, just but... make it make it so it works for you. So it's I, two exactly twelve right. twenty one. Are you one hundred percent sure this is a bit, Al? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, these guys, if you let them go on long enough, they reveal themselves. And him doing the mayonnaise the, jars and the Milton Burl. Milton Burl. No, the Milton Burl to me was our. It was the him going avocado, avocado. Sound yeah. like a bit. And then the mayonnaise jars. So he he pushed it too far. Yeah. So we had him on the line, and then he we were we were bringing him in, thinking that he's a real fish, and then we pulled up, you know, a a boot is basically what right. you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, all right, interesting. I'm still leaning towards that. You know, it could be a little bit of both too. It could be the fact that he's someone that needs help, but also is, and the fact that he knows about us and the success of the show and Boomer and those things makes him makes me think he's got it together a little bit. So. Interesting. I don't know. I wonder what Flegelman thinks as he talks to him off the air. Yeah, he just actually texted me, but it was about something else. That okay. He wanted me to comment on, but I declined. All right. Very good. Okay. You know what? Put up a uh, put up a uh, poll there. I'll uh, whip the poll out on this one. Yeah. Um, real was was that man real, or actually word it whatever way you want, or was that a bit? Got it. All right. Something like that that isn't uh Yeah, whip the poll out, Al. Whip the poll out, Al, for us. I, I love to take my poll out. Yeah, and he's going to do it right now, and you can uh, vote on that. All right, Boomer and Geo on the